Johnny Depp as the Earl of Rochester. Why would I not want to watch this film? The Libertine, although not perfect, is pretty fabulous and that's because of Johnny Depp. The rest of the film itself, the narrative, relatively interesting, some pretty outrageous scenes, but for me ultimately it's watching Depp's performance as John Wilmot, uh, 17th century poet, also known as the Earl of Rochester. He Basically, the description from IMDb says that he famously drank and debauched his way to an early grave, um, only to earn posthumous critical acclaim for his life's work. This is about him basically drinking and being with women. And it's about his personality, and obviously that makes him really unlikable, but he is really compelling. And if you are a fan of his writing, which I'm, I'm not, I'm not either way, I don't care about it, I don't mind it. I didn't watch this because I was interested in the poet himself. I was interested in the poet as a person and who he was and I guess where his experiences came from. But I think this tells his story very well. It was released in 2004, directed by Lawrence Dunmore, written by Stephen Jeffries and starring, of course, Johnny Depp as Rochester. We also have Paul Ritter, John Malkovich, uh, Rosamund Pike, Johnny Vegas, which at the time was not something I'd expected, so that was pretty great. And I have to say the costumes are great. I really thoroughly loved the costumes in this. You know, we're dealing with the 1600s, I think the middle of the 1600s. And the costumes there are never as flamboyant as, say, costumes from the 19th or early 20th centuries, because they just weren't. But they still managed to make them compelling and beautiful and it's setting the scene and oh they're just beautiful i like the music as well i think the soundtrack is really good the set designs are great especially when they're really busy and the scene's really cramped and there are a lot of people but the camera seems to work with that really well and it's really compelling i do think that it's a bit dark um the light by which i mean the lighting um I think some scenes could have been better lit um, or even, you know, better edited in post to look a little bit brighter. But that's a minor quibble and absolutely nothing that detracts from how fun the film is. I think it's, it's, well, it's not quite long. It's just under two hours, but the narrative drags here and there. And, you know, when the action slows down and we don't get the worst of Rochester's personality um, and he's not really drinking or debauching, is that a word? then the narrative dips a bit because as I said it's not really narrative driven for me it's his character that I find interesting but as you can imagine with Rochester this is few and far between it doesn't happen that often I really like it if you like Johnny Depp I think you'll really enjoy his performance he fits the role really well and I don't know that much about Rochester as a person to be able to say that everything in this was portrayed exactly 100%. I kind of get the impression that, you know, I think they maybe exaggerated a few things here and there, but then maybe not. Maybe he was really that bad. But again, it's interesting to see where his words came from and what generated his poetry. Because it's really interesting. When you, when you think of somebody who, who drinks a lot and they sleep around and they're always doing the 1600s version of partying, I suppose it still is partying, you don't then think of him sitting down at a desk and studiously writing a poem and plotting out the meter and, you know, studying the syntax. You don't... It's such a strong dichotomy of, I guess, frivolous behaviour and absolute mental control. Um, Although you could argue that poetry is the opposite of mental control as it's all about, you know, purging thoughts and things. But it's just, it's, it's weird to see and think about, but often it's poet's mentality. My, 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 my hero, Byron, very much fits into that bracket. Either way, watch The Libertine if you get a chance. I'd say seek it out even, it's that good. Definitely worth watching.